my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are here for another winter storm breakdown. Now today we're going to be doing another update on this record breaking winter storm that's currently impacting a certain portion of the United States, where it will impact, what it's going to do and more. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off the watches, warnings and advisories display, light purples, those are your winter weather advisories. You could see a few inches of snow in the next 24 hours so be wary of that. Pinks, winter storm warnings, those are the areas that are going to see a lot of snow over the next 24 hours. Oranges, blizzard warnings, gusty into damaging winds will be possible in the orange boxes today, so look out for that. Dark purples, ice storm warnings. We could be looking at a lot of frozen precipitation falling onto the ground there in portions of North and South Dakota, so be careful of that. We could see some ice storm conditions, right? We do have one snow, snow squall warning in effect here for portions of Northeast Kansas, as there's a dangerous snow squall heading straight for Kansas City, reducing visibility so if you're on the interstate there, you need to be very careful. Get off the road if you encounter dangerous snow conditions. <clears throat> next up, we've got the snowfall totals over the next 23 hours. All right, so we uh, could be looking at something like this at 12 p.m. Central Time tomorrow on the ground, okay? So we can see we're going to get even more snow than what we already have, all right? We're not done with the snow totals yet. So obviously, a lot of this area already has over a foot of snow on the ground, <clears throat> but it's going to get even more intense here, okay? Specifically in portions of Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, North Dakota, and Montana, there are some areas that could get over half a foot of snow within the next 23 hours, all right? So be very careful of that. North Platte's going to be in for a lot of snow. Hot Springs, Pierre, uh, all the way out to Glendive, Dickinson, that whole area could be in for a few inches of snow, so be very careful. Kansas City's going to be in for a few inches of snow, especially after that squall heads in, so look out for that. Finally, forecast models, we're going to be looking at what this snowstorm is going to be doing and then what's next to come, really. <clears throat> Obviously, right now, now that low pressure system is centered in northeast Kansas where the most intense snow squall activity is right now but we're getting the heaviest snow likely in South Dakota heaviest ice likely in North Dakota okay <clears throat> so we go into this evening we could be looking at much of the same here this activity does move a little bit off to the east um, and then by tomorrow morning, we could be looking at some more snow in portions of the Great Plains, but it will weaken, all right? This system will leave us within the next couple of days. And then after that, I mean, it's going to be pretty calm for a while. We're not really going to be looking at any thunderstorms, no major blizzards or anything like that. <clears throat> it's going to be very calm. We could get a, you know, stray system moved through in early January, all right? We've been talking about something big happening in early January for a while now. Right now, it's looking like it could be another atmospheric river type event in the Northwest, but again, and there's still so much time until this plays out. We could be looking at a blizzard in Colorado, okay? Things could change drastically, so keep that in mind. This is not a guarantee because we are forecasting so far out, all right? We are going to be looking at a huge blizzard system likely to move into the Midwest here in portions of early to mid-January uh, and potentially even impact portions of the Southeast as well as bring some heavy thunderstorms to North Carolina. We could be looking at some severe weather in January, but other than that, it's going to be pretty calm for the next few weeks, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.